Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated. The ceremony will start in 73 minutes and then run three and a half hours. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a correction to the last announcement. We managed to squeeze the waiting time down to 43 minutes, but the runtime of the whole thing turned out to be somewhere next to five hours and 20 minutes. Thank you for your understanding. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated. The ceremony will most probably start one day or another. Please, ladies and gentlemen, I repeat, stay seated. No bathroom trips anymore and no quick getting up to rearrange your underwear. You'll have to live with that now. And also, please don't think of the dinner you're gonna have after this or this cigarette you'd love to smoke now. Thinking of cigarettes is strictly prohibited, at least for the smokers. Non-smokers are permitted to think of cigarettes as much as they like, <laughs> but not the smokers. And generally, everybody, please try hard to think some uplifting thoughts about art crossing borders and uniting humanity, because this is what we're going to be stuck with for the next three hours. Oh, um, I was just told to shut up and get on with it. So I guess we believe the stage now and then return with a big bang. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host for tonight. From Germany, Miss Anna Brueggemann, who happens to be me. Yes, me. So please welcome me with a huge round of applause. Woo! And from Lithuania, we have Eistev Drzute, who happens to be me. So please welcome me with some thundering applause. And now, one, two, one, two, three, four. Welcome to the 30 second European Fund Awards! Another absurd year in an absurd world has come to an end. Absurd things keep happening, absurd people rule absurd countries and make absurd decisions. But there is one thing that is absolutely not absurd. Gathering in a place like this and giving people shiny little statues because they made films that other people consider really damn good, or at least good. <laughs> <laughs> so as I said, film awards are the only sensible thing in an absurd world. So we have decided to do it again and throw another round of the European Film Awards. And there's also other great news. Over the years in this ceremony, there have been so many appeals to humanity, to sanity. There have been calls for freedom and democracy. And the good news is, our calls have been heard. It has finally worked. The world is on the road to recovery. Politicians have regained their sanity. Global warming has started to cool down. The Arctic is freezing back up, and so is the Antarctic. North Korea has opened its borders and invited its whole population to catch up on the 60s and smoke some dope. Vladimir Putin himself is opening the world's largest gay parade on the Red Square in Moscow in a pink unicorn dress. 
Furthermore, in the field we all care about most, which is cinema, things couldn't be more splendid. Audience figures are skyrocketing. Young people don't give a shit about computer games or smartphones anymore. No, they are begging their parents to introduce them to the immortal art of cinema. So we, the filmmakers, humbly go about our daily duty of giving this wonderful world the movies that it wants, the movies that it needs, and the movies that it deserves. And this year, we did it again. We didn't let the absurdity stop us. We just kept on going and going and going and going. And tonight, we've all gathered to celebrate our films, celebrate being European and celebrate being absurd. So, let's take a look at the nominated films.